What's going on guys, Michael Guetta here again, coming at you with another episode of Barbering and Business. And in today's episode, I wanna to talk to you guys about prospecting. Some of you guys might be asking yourself, what in the world is prospecting? So I looked up the definition for you and I'm gonna read you exactly what prospecting means. So, prospecting means to search for mineral deposits in a place, especially by means of experimental drilling and excavation. So to prospect means to search for minerals, right? Whether it be gold, silver, whatever it is. People just don't go somewhere, dig a hole and find gold. It, it's a long process. You gotta, you gotta dig and you gotta drill and you gotta excavate and eventually one day you're gonna strike gold. But before you strike gold, you go through a process called prospecting, which is where you're searching for the gold, right? Most of the work is searching. Once you find it, the work gets easy. But most of the work is actually searching for that gold. So prospecting is a term that's used very often in sales. And salespeople, when they prospect, they're not looking for gold or silver or any other mineral, they're looking for customers. So prospecting is the act of looking for a customer in the sales world. In the mineral excavating world is the, is the act of looking for minerals. But for our sake, it's the act for, of looking for customers, right? So you can either dig a hole one day. If let's say you're, you're prospecting for minerals, you dig a hole one day, you don't find any gold. Um, so you wait a little, you wait another week, then you dig another hole and you don't find any gold. If, if that's the course of action you're taking, it's going to take you a lifetime before you find the gold. But if you're drilling each and every single day for hours and hours and hours in different places, you're going to find gold much faster than the person that's just drilling once in a while, right or wrong. And the same thing goes for salespeople when they're looking for customers. You're either passive about your approach to getting customers and just wait for them to fall on your lap or meet them randomly somewhere or you're active about it and you're consistently going out and networking and reaching out to your current customers and asking them for referrals and reaching out to your family members and, and asking them for referrals. So prospecting guys is the act of searching for a customer. And this is something that you wanna make sure you prioritize, prioritize each and every single day. You don't wanna be passive about your search for a customer you want to be proactive about your search for a customer so make sure each and every single day when you wake up you go into the day with the mindset of prospecting and take actions that will guarantee that you will get a customer and i can share a couple of ones that i like to do so i mean just a basic post on instagram is a is a form of prospecting if i put out a picture of my haircut and i put up a nice caption on it and i say look if you guys like this haircut make sure to hit me up you can schedule an appointment with me that is a little act of prospecting right now i can do that just that for the day or i can do that and then uh, reach out to everybody that got a haircut with me for the day and thank them for coming in and let them know that if they send me a referral i'll give them five dollars off their next service that's another form of prospecting i can make a whole entire list which i do every couple of months i'll make a whole entire list of each and every single person i know my family members my friends my current clients my friends from elementary school my teachers every single person that i can think of i put them on this list and I contact each and every single one of, the, of these people just to reconnect with them. And through doing that, sometimes I re-spark this fire that I had lost with a previous relationship and they'll start getting a haircut with me again or they'll refer somebody to me that's interested in getting a haircut with me because they had completely forgot about me and I just re-sparked that fire, I re-sparked that relationship with them and now I'm at the forefront of their mind. So that is a form of prospecting. So that's something else you can do. So. Yeah, with that being said, guys, think about it as if you're searching for gold. Each customer is a piece of gold. And you can either be very passive about your approach to this or you can be very proactive. So make a list of different things that you can do in order to get a new customer in the door. Um, I just shared a couple of them with you guys. It's sharing uh, pictures on Instagram, reaching out to your current customers, reaching out to family members. I mean, going to networking events, putting yourself out there, you know, um, create business cards, pass them out, whatever it is that, that you need to do, make sure you're consistently doing it every single day. Massive action, guys. Don't be passive about it. Be proactive about it. And you're going to see how fast your business starts to grow. 
All right, guys, so that is prospecting. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys liked it. Remember, you guys can subscribe below to the channel. I'm always giving out videos like this, sharing little tips that I've learned in my business that has helped me take it to the next level. Make sure to comment below if you wanna add anything or if you have any questions. And remember guys, we have a Facebook group called Barbering in Business, and it's a community of barbers that are all into barbering and are all into business, and they're all sharing different things as they, they've learned throughout their career in order to take their business to the next level. So the group is called Barbering in Business. Um, I'll put the link below so you guys can join it if you're interested. And thanks for watching again, guys. All right. Have a great day.